Hi, I'm Chantel. And I'm RJ. And welcome to the Morris Microstead. <laughs> so today we are unpacking seeds. Um, my husband got home and he was like, wanna watch mom freak out? And I thought he was gonna bring me a bunch of dirty Tupperware from work. But it was my seed order from Baker's Creek. Yay! And so I thought I would do a seed haul here. I also have a seed order coming from M.I. Gardner, and I'll probably just pick up some seeds along the way, and um, and then I have seeds from last year, but these are from Baker's Creek. So here is, oh, a free. So Baker's Creek sends free seeds, which is so Woo! wonderful. I got a free purple kohlrabi. I, so I had these purple kohlrabi last year, and I grew them, and uh, they're really easy to grow. They're wonderful. We just direct sow them, and they are a brassica. Um, I enjoy growing those. Do you want to read these ones? Yeah. These are Carrot Cosmic Purple. So then hold up the picture to the camera. And here's the picture. So last year we had these carrots and they were just memorable because my daughter would jump out of the swimming pool. It was just like a little like inflatable swimming pool. And go over to the garden, pick up some carrots out of the soil and then run back, rinse them off, and then jump into the swimming pool with her and her brother would snack on carrots in the swimming pool. So like, for memorable, re for um, sentimental reasons, I had to get the same variety. So they're the Cosmic Purple Carrots. We got Rudy Vegas. Sure. Okay. Okay, here's a lettuce. This is lettuce. Oh, I thought that was a G. Okay, here's lettuce. So uh, these are great. They were pest resistant last year and super prolific, so I really enjoyed them. And the everybody really liked it. And then we do every year the dragon tongue bees. They're just really pretty and they're very tender. Oh, I have these for you. Oh! And this lady gives these flowers to her sister that's on the picture. They're me. So these are the green lime zinnias. My son picks zinnias out of the garden and brings them to me. And I just love having flowers out there for them to pick. And he's really good at growing the zinnias. So, Mom, ooh, another kohlrabi. The, this is a butcher though. This is onions. onions. Oh, parsley. That's not a This is just parsley. We have the Japanese giant red mustard greens. I saw these on the Homestead and Chill Instagram. Deanna Cat uh, grows these, and they always look so beautiful and colorful. So that's why I got them. Ooh, these are green zinnias called Envy. Can I do one? Yeah, you can. Oh, they're so pretty. I can't wait. Green zinnias. Oh, green my God, it's so beautiful. Yeah. You do these ones. Thank you. So here's a leek. <laughs> that's a no, it's leek. Leeks. Yeah, I love Kilantro. Cilantro. <laughs> I thought, hi, um, kids, if you don't know what that says, call it Kilantro, okay? More dragon tongue beans. Um, so yes, last year, do. our bumper crop was, I feel like every year we have one thing that's like a bumper crop, and last year it was green beans. I planted way too many green beans. Whoa. This is a um, blue curled scotch kale. Hi. It just sounded really pretty in a new variety. I'll let you do the next one. Here, oh, this one. This one right here. So, this is orange and pink. It's charred. Charred. Uh huh. It's rainbow charred. Oh, so I have some zoom What is these? <coughs> oh, those are our favorite. They're the bumblebee tomatoes. Great so, tomatoes. this is bumblebee tomatoes. <laughs> so, this is bumblebee tomatoes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she made it. Because. Can I have one for next year? No idea why. I don't think the kids have ever had a rutabaga. So this is carrots. I eat carrots, Mom. Those are carrots. They so Saint Valerie carrots. Carrot. Yep, sure. Look. Man, that got out of hand. I don't know if anybody else's kids love seeing themselves, like in the mirror or in a river, in a um, in a, a camera or yeah, just craziness. It's absolute entertainment. But anyways, I have all my seeds put away and organized, and I wanted to come back on and share that I love winter. I love the season of rest and rejuvenation, um, and just like restoring our souls and our bodies and. Um, eating all of the winter squash and starchy vegetables and cookies and cakes and all of the seasonal goodies. But um, 
but I also can't wait to get back out in the garden. It's really hard for me to be in this dormant season. <laughs> it's my turn. Um, and so I love that I can put these carrots along the way of um, I get my seeds and I get to set up my seed growing station and I get to plan out my garden and um, I'll clean all of my pots and my trays soon and uh, and then I'll plant my seedlings and then I'll nurture my seedlings until I and then I can prepare my beds and um, just these little carrots along the way getting me back to spring but appreciating the season I'm in and resting uh, in the meantime so and using this time for in the house homesteading stuff so on a micro stead we don't have a huge pasture to um, go out and prepare and seed and um, we don't have that much to take care of but inside we can be honing our skills of making bread and baking and cooking from scratch and learning how to store up bulk groceries and making the fire cider and elderberry syrup that we use for our immune system and practicing our herb usage and um, just really using this time to educate ourselves also. So anyways, I hope that this was fun. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one who has kids who love to see themselves in their reflection. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed our seed haul for today. Uh-uh, don't play with it.